good morning one and all today we will discuss histamine one receptor antagonist or h1 blockers antihistaminic the drugs blocks h1 receptor upon completion of this presentation you are able to clear the classification of h1 antihistaminic what are antihistamines the drug that reduces or eliminate the effects mediated by the chemical histamine the term is also refers to h1 receptor antagonist or these are also called as h1 blockers these drugs not compete with histamine for binding site at the receptor histamine cannot remove the histamine if it is already bound in 1910 to 19 Eleven, the discovery of histamine by scientists Henry Dale and Patrick Laidlaw identifies and describes the properties of histamine. Further, in 1937, the first animal studies were undertaken by Etienne Fourniau, which synthesized the first antihistamine, that is diethylamine. Further, prior to 1937, physiological antagonist called as adrenaline. it antagonizes the action of histamine means the opposite actions like histamine adrenaline shows which is discovered in 1937 called as physiological antagonist in 1942 antergen antergen introduced as the first antagonist guys against histamine in 1942 first clinical application introduced by bernard and halpern called as fin benzamine further histamine receptors as a h1 and h2 classification given by olds and shield in 1966 in 1983 h3 receptor is identified serve as a auto receptors controlling histamine release from the neurons these are the clinical uses of antihistaminic used in allergic condition allergic conjunctivitis dermatological conditions ulcers heartburn angioedema then anaphylactic reaction nausea sedation ast asthma etc this antihistamine can act by three mechanism first physiological antagonist like we discussed this in first slide called as uh, epadrine and adrenaline has opposite action to from the histamine this is called as physiological antagonist histamine release inhibitor these agents stop the release of histamine from the mast cells there are two classes mast cell stabilizers and beta 2 adrenergic agonist and we will discuss this third one important for final year syllabus called as histamine receptor antagonist antihistamine this is histamine receptor antagonist are against three receptors called as h1 blockers h2 blockers h3 blockers these h1 blockers are clinic classical antihistaminic these are anti allergic drugs h2s are called as anti secretory and h3s are h3 antagonist all drugs act, act by competitive mechanism with histamine for histamine receptor this h1 antihistaminics are inverse agonist rather than antagonist these are classified broadly into two classes first generation uh, called as no classical antihistamines and second generation these are non sedating antihistamine these different generations of antihistamines with example first generation pyrilamine antazoline etc second generation are terfendine astemizol cetirizine etc then third generation new or third generation leucetirizine fexofenadine etc then h1 receptor antagonist first generation antagonist this first generation h1 antagonist these are rapidly absorbed from the gastrointestinal tract widely distributed lipophilic city so readily crosses the blood brain barrier its duration of action is 4 to 6 hours chemical classification of this anti allergic called as classical antihistaminics or h1 antagonist 
these are divided into six parts example first propylamine derivative example chlorpyrimidine phenothiazine promethazine piperazine cyclazine ethylene diamines mipramines ethanolamines diphenhydramine then miscellaneous ciproheptadiene and cetirizine this first one is ethylene diamine derivatives this ethylene diamine derivatives uh, how it is ethylene this is ethylene bridge and this is diamine ethylene that's why it is called as ethylene diamine derivative which is characterized by presence of nitrogen containing atom x here we consider this x this x is replaced with the nitrogen and two carbon atom chain by linking moiety with key diaryl or tertiary amine moiety fin benzamine first clinically used this h1 antagonist for generation replacement of phenyl with two pyridinyl system gives more effectiveness example is triphenylamine means replacement of this one phenyl ring with this two pyridinyl system increases the effectiveness substitution at para position of one of the phenyl with methoxy or chloro bromo it enhances the activity example is pyridinyl the two pyridinyl moiety can be replaceable with pyrimidinyl moiety example thonzalamine these are the examples of ethylene diamine derivative first we will discuss the iupac of only one from this this is triphenylamine how it is uh, ethylene <coughs> n benzyl it is n benzyl n n dimethyl it is n n dimethyl n pyridinyl ethane it is n pyridinyl this is n pyridinyl n n dimethyl and 1 2 diamine 1 2 diamine this is 1 this is two this is amine these two are called as amine hydrochloride salt <coughs> second one is uh, pyrimidine meth pyrimidine with its iupac i'll we discuss this again pyrimidine this is methoxy phenyl how it is first we consider this 1 2 diamine then pyridine pyridine ethane it is 1 2 diamine 1 2 diamine this diamines then methoxy phenyl this is methoxy phenyl 1 2 3 4 four methoxy phenyl methyl this is methyl then nn dimethyl this is nn dimethyl then n pyridinyl this is n pyridinyl n pyridinyl and uh, 2 il ethane this is ethane called as pyridinyl next is uh, antazoline and thon thon il xylamine with its iupac which contains pyrimidine and pyrazole as a basic nucleus second class of this called as amino alkyl ether means x is replaced with this co it is amino this is amino this is alkyl and this is ether so amino alkyl ether characterized by presence of cho connecting moiety cho this is h two or three carbon atom chain as linking moiety between the key diaryl and tertiary amino group first clinically used prototype drug is called as diphen hydramine then para substitution with group like at phenyl ring chloro och3 or ch3 it increases the activity and reduces the side effect than diphen hydramine replacement of one phenyl ring with two pyridine pyridinyl system gives more effectiveness called as doxylamine then diaryl tertiary amino alkyl ether structure serve as a pharmacophore for muscarinic receptor possesses anticholinergic activity which enhances the h1 blocking action on exocrine secretion this is 
is more important part ability to cross blood brain barrier and occupy central h1 receptor these are the examples like diphenhydramine diphenyl methoxy it is a diphenyl this is diphenyl methoxy then ethanamine this is ethanamine and this is again a dimethyl nn dimethyl again doxylamine how it is nn dimethyl to one phenyl one pyridinyl this is one phenyl one pyridinyl ethoxy it is what ethoxy then ethyla ethanamine this is ethanamine and then dimethyl it is ethoxy okay again this is brom bromophen hydramine only bromo is substituted on this para position of this diphenhydramine same i pc only a replacement of diphenyl with bromophenyl and one phenyl methoxy this next one is piperazin class called a cyclazine this is it contain piperazin ring system these are also considered as a cyclic ethylene diamines possesses muscarinic activity responsible for antiemetics and antivertigo action spiperazin type of antihistamines characterized by slow onset and long duration of action in this series connecting moiety is chn the ch n is a part of this cyclic ring both nitrogen atoms are aliphatic and thus displays comparable basicities activity is variable and depends on substitution on one phenyl ring and nature of piperazin nitrogen substitution these are the examples with iupac benz hydryl 4 methyl piperazin it is 4 methyl piperazin benz hydryl 4 these are the cyclazin again this one chlorophenyl this is chlorophenyl phenyl methyl phenyl methyl then methyl piperazin this is methyl this is piperazin chlorcyclazin this is buclizin it is tertiary butyl phenyl methyl chlorphenyl this is tertiary butyl phenyl this is phenyl this is methyl then chlorophenyl then phenyl methyl this phenyl methyl and this one is piperazin this fourth class is propylamines propylamine means 1 2 3 this is propyl this is amine this is propylamine derivative the same this acr two phenyl ring systems when it substituted with or replacement of one phenyl with pyridinyl gives more effectiveness than para substitution with hydrogen chloro or bromo on phenyl ring increases the activity and having long duration of action propylamines halogen nitrate propylamines are more potent antihistaminic action pyruvidone group in the side chain tertiary amine imparts the greatest antihistaminic action these are the examples of propylamine derivative propyl means this 3 nn dimethyl 3 phenyl nn dimethyl this is 3 1 2 3 phenyl and 3 uh, pyridine propane one amine this is propane this is one amine phenyl 3 pyridinyl this is chlorpyridamine again propylamine is substituted with amine one amine this is one amino one number carbon this is amino this n is substituted with the methyl this is diamine n and dimethyl then third number carbon is substituted with what four chlorophenyl and this one is 
period in two in that is one this is two this this is this three indicates what this propane propane this is one this is two and this one is three this is propylamine same like triprolidine and phenindamine then fifth class is phenothiazine derivative phenothiazine means uh, three member ring system I click phenothiazine among should possess two or three branch alkyl chain between ring system and terminal nitrogen atom unbranched propyl chain required for antipsychotic action lengthening of side chain decreases the activity lengthening means we if we increases the one carbon one or more carbon it decreases the biological activity substitution of lipophilic group on aromatic ring results in decreases activity this promethazine methdalazine and trimephrazine are the examples of phenothiazine derivative this phenothiazine ten propane to amine propane means one two three propane to amine and this amine nitrogen is substituted with dimethyl group called as uh, promethazine next class is dibenzocycloheptanes and heptanes heptanes and heptanes similar to phenothiazine in which sulfur atom is replaced by allosteric vinyl group cyclohepta cycloheptadine or saturated ethylene bridge azatidine ring nitrogen has been replaced by sp2 carbon atom this is Ciproheptadine hydrochloride example dibenzocycloheptines. <coughs> These are the summary of first generation H1 blockers, then H1 receptor antagonist, second generation. This is more similar with first generation pharmacologically than structurally. Develop as a selective H1 receptor antagonist with high potency. It affinity for muscarinic, adrenergic and serotonergic receptors and therefore displays side effects associated with the antagonism on this receptor. It decreases CNS penetration compared with first generation antagonist. These are non-sedating. That's why these are called as second generation. Long duration of action. Newer second generation are more selective for peripheral histamine receptors and have far less side effects like cardiotoxic effects at high concentration ventricular arrhythmias metabolized by cytochrome p450 these are the examples of second generation important is citrizen a very famous drug used in allergic condition that is contains acetic acid this is acetic acid then ethoxy then <coughs> piperazine then phenyl methyl desphenyl methyl and chlorophenyl this chlorophenyl citrazine second generation h1 receptor antagonist miclo mesolastine terphenadine and lora are the examples of second generation H1 receptor antagonist. Third generation H1 receptor antagonist are phexophenadine, carbestine and leucitrazine. These are the third generation antihistaminic. This is regarding in short H classification of H1 blocker classical antihistaminics called as anti-allergic drug. Thank you.